Hello, I'm Colleen Pearl the Cool Crone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be the February Tarot Scope for the Sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, this is your reading for February. I have laid out the cards week one, week two, week three, week four. I have a Queen of the Moon Oracle card and then I have three um, Oracle cards pulled from the Elemental Oracle deck by Stacy DeMarco. So I hope you enjoy this reading and let's get into it. So first off, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer. So this is not you, but it looks like this is where you want to be. You want to be in control of all resources, that being your health, your body, your money. Those are the three main things that Pentacles really rule. The Queen of Pentacles is a shrewd lady She's very good at managing things. She doesn't make a big fuss over everything, but she certainly knows how to manage, how to delegate, how to keep things running, and she knows what's involved with just plain old hard work. So Cancer, I think you're seeing yourself in her. I think you're seeing that you have to really get down to brass tacks. You have to, have to get down to work. You, you need to appreciate what it costs or what kind of work you will need to do in order to get what you want. And the second card tells me a little bit more about that because it is the Four of Pentacles, and this is the person who is really trying to hang on to their coin. But the coin, remember, represents not just money, but also your values, your, your health, and your body. So you're really focusing, I think, on your body and on your health and trying to hang on to that as best you can. The third card in the third, the third card in the first week of February is the Three of Wands, and this is the card showing someone who is looking out over the land supposedly that they own and surveying what is really going on. What what can I do with my resources? Where do I see myself in the future? How can I parlay this group of resources into something even better? something larger, something more secure, something more encompassing. Now in the second week of February, it looks like that you have some assistance. And in fact, all through this reading, it looks like you have some assistance in February. But this is coming in, partic in particular from the emperor. So this is the guy who rules the land. This is the guy who makes the rules. As you can see by his footwear, he's not opposed to going into battle and fighting for what he believes. So the emperor has made the rules. The emperor has decided how things are going to go down in whatever this village, cosmos, corporation, company, family, whatever this entity is. He makes the rules and he is the one who lays down the law and he's right next to you in the reading. And then of course we have another king over here. So you're in good company up here, uh, Cancer. And like I said, even though this is not a water sign, I do think that Cancer, you are seeing yourself in this reading as the Queen of Pentacles. The second card in the second week of February is the Five of Cups, but it's reversed. The Five of Cups, when it's upright, as I'm showing it to you, shows that there are several cups that are emptied, but there's a few that are still standing. And so you have choices that you have not examined that you should. So what this is saying is that you haven't blown it, you haven't ruined your chances at either pleasing the emperor or getting more from the emperor or being protected by the emperor, but you do need to be aware that there are still a few cups up right there that you need to look at. There are still a few choices available to you that you need to really be examining. And then the next card is the Eight of Wands, and this usually means that lots of stuff is coming through. Lots of information, lots of opportunities, lots of projects, lots of work. Just a lot of things are coming through. Just like those wands just flying through the air, stuff is just flying at you and giving you tons and tons of opportunity. So I hope you want that, Cancer. Now the top of the third week is showing the King of Swords. And this would be an air sign male, somebody who is pretty high up in their... Um, uh, pretty high up in their job, um, probably an authority of some kind, and his 
company or family or whatever entity, maybe even government. And he's a person who works with his own words. He uses his words to get what he wants. He's an air sign. So this is a person who uses communication to get what he needs, and he's very, very good at it. And this is a person who is probably in your corner, Cancer. So this is somebody who wants to see you succeed, and he's going to say and do all the things that need to be done so that you can succeed. The next card is temperance. And so this would show that you need to be a little bit careful about putting all your eggs in one basket, about relying on just one other person to help you get where you wanna go. So perhaps you wanna make sure that, yeah, you wanna trust him and allow him to do his thing to help you, but at the same time, you don't wanna only rely on him. You also wanna use your own skills, your own resources, your own mastery in order to get what it is that you need. At the end of the third week of February, we come to a decision. So you have to make a choice. And part of what the d dilemma here is that you just don't wanna make a choice. You have the blindfold on, you're just holding up the swords like, hey, if I just sit here forever, maybe somebody else, somebody else will make the choice for me. And Cancer, that is not what this game is about. You have to make your own choices, you design your life, and then you reap the rewards. Now, at the top of the fourth week, we have the steady night, the slow and steady night, the Knight of Pentacles. So he is the one who is there for you. He's loyal. He's going to make his moves, but he's going to make his moves slowly for you. So he's not a person who acts in haste. And I think this is why at the beginning of the reading, Cancer, you are seeing yourself as the Queen of Pentacles, because I think there's something about Pentacles right now Money and security is really important to you, and uh, Cancers are always concerned with the security of their home, the security of their person, and their bank account. And I think that's why you're identifying as the Queen of Pentacles and not the Queen of Cups. And this person, the Knight of Pentacles, is a person who is in your corner, who is going to help you, who is, who is going to do his best to defend you. The next card up shows the hermit and this means that whatever is going on with you this month cancer you do need to take time out to really meditate and contemplate and analyze and think about what it is that you're trying to achieve if all of this is just so that you have a big gob of money in a bank that's not really you cancer you're about family and children and legacy and your worth and allowing the world to see who you are and what you're really worth. So I don't think that you would be doing all of this just for a bigger bank account. I think it has to lead somewhere meaningful for you. And that's what this uh, Hermit card is here for, is to remind you to focus on that and to give yourself the chance to step back, get out of the rat race for just a minute, and meditate on what it is that you are trying to achieve. The final outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. This is the analysis card. So you're analyzing, you're looking at what you are working at, and you're wondering, when will my ship come in? When will the fruit come off the vine? When will my project ripen and mature and when will I see the results the fruits of my labor the thing with this card is that you can't push it you can't uh, you can't pick the apples until they're ripe you can't get the vegetables out of the garden until they've ripened you can't pick the flowers until they bloom right so you have to wait until the timing is right and that's what this is really about cancer Yes, you may need money, you may be insecure, and you may need some help in shoring up your securities and your world, but that, but that will take time, and the things have to happen in the right time. And remember that you're just coming off of a Mercury retrograde. On February 3rd, Mercury was stationed direct, and then it'll start to move forward. But that feeling of frustration could be what you're feeling. Also, Venus is retrograde, it just went direct at the very end of January, it's stationed direct. So you may be, and Venus is money. So you may have been worried and feeling um, the scarcity of your resources because of those two retrograde planets. And now that they're both moving direct, 
commerce, Mercury will move forward again. Money and things will be moving forward again. That's Venus. So it, you may be um, kind of behind the eight ball here with that, and it may be going forward anyway. So you standing there and watching it in, in the, you know, as a metaphor, waiting for the kettle to boil is not going to make it boil faster. That's my point. Okay, so now let's go on to the um, Oracle cards. And the first Oracle card up is Magic. Here's magic. It's a beautiful card. I'm going to lay it right here in the middle. So this card is saying that you are the magic, that everything comes together around you. So while you have, it's wonderful to have these people helping you, you are the one that's really making it happen. So have faith in yourself, believe in yourself, and know that you are the magic. And then we have Number 44, the biome. So the biome means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, meaning that you should be working with others. So here's the others that you should be working with. And you cannot um, ignore the needs of others in order to get what you want. So Cancer, I'm not saying that you're a selfish sign, but you do um, really excel at taking care of yourself. Um, when you are a cancer that does take care of yourself, there's plenty of cancers who ignore their needs and only take care of others. But in general, cancer can be very, very good at self-care. And the biome card is saying, so be sure that you are aware of the needs of others before you put yourself out there in the front of the line. The next card up is North. So this is saying be, be guided by your own research and trust that you do know what your mission in life really is. You do know what you're here for. You do know why you're supposed to be on earth right now. And go for that. You know, don't, don't pull back on that. And the last card is the Oracle card, Queen of the Moon. And it's the waxing crescent and it says self-love. So you need to Take some of that Cancerian energy and turn it around and focus it on yourself. Take care of yourself. Some of the things that you may be pushing about may be things that if you were just secure about them, about yourself, about your own body, your own health, your own resources, then you wouldn't be pushing for others to help you with all of this. And I'm not saying that you're really pushing bad. I don't, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But you may feel more relaxed about it if your own self-care was just uh, pushed up a little higher right now. Okay, so that's what I have, Cancer. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know how you liked this reading. I hope that you are a subscriber. I'm pretty sure that most of the people watching this are. If you're not, please click the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up. Thank you for liking. Please give it a thumbs up. That always helps the channel. And have a great February, Cancer, and I'll see you next time.